first thing I do when I'm working in a class with a student is to help them get in touch with what their emotional life is in the moment. I love actors who are emotionally connected, emotionally alive. I mean, I think any great actor is alive and has contact with their real feelings. But I use the analogy of looking at a map, on a, a walking map on a street in another, in another city. If you're, if you're looking at a map and I want to know how to get somewhere, the first thing I look for on, this, on, on the map is the thing that says, you are here. You've got to know where you are before you're going to get somewhere else. So I, what I do is I have the student, the singer, get in touch with what their real feeling is in the moment. And from there, we can move to other places with the character. But you, you, want, your real feelings, you want your feelings to be authentic. That means they have to trust you, so to speak. You have to be in contact with your feelings in a real way before you're going to start to move them into some kind of manipulated way. So that's the first thing I do is just have somebody get, get go inside, feel what they're feeling, and tell me what they're feeling. Start like that. There are, of course, millions of feelings, but these, I like these five. They sort of cover the gamut for me with, with um, subtleties left out. Mad. So I say to the student, tell me what you're feeling. Choose, choose one or more of these words, what you're feeling right now. Mad, sad, glad, scared, lonely. Mad, sad, glad, scared, lonely. And just go inside, get in contact with what you're really, feel, what you're really feeling, and tell me about it. So that's the way I get them going. And, I, I, and oddly enough, I don't talk about feelings much beyond that in the work. I don't, I don't try to get people to get a feeling going in one way or direction, one direction or the other. My thing is, that I say to an actor, rather than worrying about what you're feeling, I'm concerned with what you're doing. The feelings will come along naturally. Because if you try to force a feeling, usually what you end up with is a cliché. You know, there used to be, there's old time acting techniques where you would make faces in a mirror and practice your, your angry look, your angry voice, or your sad look and your sad voice, and it's just phony. You know, it's, it's, it's indicated, as we, as we say in acting technique. You're indicating what somebody might look like if they were really feeling the feeling you're pretending to have. I don't care about that. I want you to be really alive to your feelings. But we don't order our feelings around like pets. They don't respond that way. They, they, they back away from that. So I want you to say, get into your heart well, before we start working. Make friends with your feelings. There's a beautiful Rumi poem. There was a poet, an uh, Afghani poet from the 13th century named Rumi. And he wrote a lot of fantastic poetry. And one of his poet poems is called The Guest House. And I, I often say this, this poem in class. This is, the, this is The Guest House by Rumi. Let's see if I can come up with it. It says, this being human is a guest house, every morning a new arrival, a joy, a depression, a meanness. Some momentary awareness comes as an unexpected visitor. Welcome them all, even if they're a crowd of sorrows who violently, that violently sweep your house empty of its furniture. Still, treat each guest honorably. He may be clearing you out for some new delight. The dark thought, the shame, the malice, meet them all at the door laughing and invite them in. Be grateful for whoever comes, because each has been sent as a guide from beyond. I just love that poem. I say it often to myself when I'm battling some emotion that I'm, I'd like to get rid of. <laughs> I say, don't get rid of that feeling. It's your friend. It's a guide from beyond. Make friends with your real feelings. Actors, characters, are, characters as, as written in songs and plays and movies are full of feelings. You want to be full of feelings. So get in touch with your real feelings. But then, I, as I said, then you leave it alone. You don't try to force yourself to feel something or you're, or you're going to be doing cliché acting.